to dive into some of the science highlights, I'm joined now by Axiom Space's chief scientist, Dr. Lucy Lowe. Lucy, thanks for joining me here at the desk with so many science portfolios that are going to be accomplished. There are more than 60 from more than 30 countries. We can't cover it all. Give us a high level look of what this portfolio looks like. Yeah, so happy to, Sonia. So this mission is chock-a-block, jam-packed full of yeah. really interesting and exciting science. We have everything from human research, understanding how the human body reacts to space. We have some really fun life sciences experiments looking at growing plants and all kinds. Uh, we have some physical sciences. We have lots of technology demonstrations. And my favorite, lots of science, technology, engineering, uh, art, and mathematics outreach events. All the STEAM things. Exactly. So we've had great success with AX1, 2, 3. Do we have any return payload flyers for AX4? We do. We have our partners at the University of California, San Diego and the Sanford Stem Cell Institute flying their cancer cells in low Earth orbit for the fourth time with Axiom. So this team is actually looking at how the cancer cells respond to space. And on this mission, they're actually testing a newly approved drug that's just about to enter clinical trials. Amazing. So really exciting. So let's take just a brief look at each of the country's portfolios. Let's start at the head. At the top. Okay. Okay, off we go. So we're going to bring on our uh, our willing participant who's going to, okay. going to model our lovely assistant who is going to model one of the experiments uh, from this portfolio. So uh, Israel here is wearing a uh, functional near infrared spectroscopy cap, which has uh, optodes in the top, which can actually look at how uh, blood is moving around, which is oh. a correlate for neural activity. So it's a way to actually monitor brain activity in space. And what the team is doing is looking at these signals and how they're going to uh, collect the data. And they're actually creating what they're calling a brain computer computer interface or a brain machine interface, which could be really interesting and useful, not only for future exploration missions, but also for applications back here on Earth. So for example, for rehabilitation after neurological disorders. And which country's portfolio is this from? This is from ESA and the Polish Space Agency. Amazing. So what is uh, ISRO doing? What's their portfolio So like? ISRO has a very, very busy uh, portfolio. So Shooks is going to be doing lots and lots of research uh, throughout the mission. Uh, so their team is going to be looking at cyanobacteria and microalgae. And they're going to be looking at how these could be used for food or for fuel or for potentially even uh, life support systems uh, on orbit in future. Uh, the, the team is also looking at muscle cells. They're seeing how muscle cells respond to uh, access to microgravity. So when the human goes into space and uh, there are changes, physiological changes that happen very quickly that can impact the muscle cells. And so the team is going to be looking at some of these changes to muscle cells in space and then applying that understanding not only to developing countermeasures for future crew, but also to take that learning and then understand more about diseases that might affect muscle wasting back here on Earth. I, I wish that this was on so we could see if there anything was lighting up with Israel. Thank you so much for helping <laughs> with this. I'm going to turn this way and I'm going to get the Dyros B project. Uh, Israel, thanks for joining us here, showing off the uh, the headset there. This is fascinating. Uh, while I manipulate this, like they're going to do in space, which basically makes me an astronaut, uh, I'm going to also hum Bach. You should do. So okay. this is a project from Hunor uh, flying this research. And this is actually looking at fluid dynamics in, in space. So we've put this tape on for uh, artistic purposes. Okay. Uh, T-Ball will not have this disco tape on orbit. But in space, uh, what is going to happen is this will be surrounded by a ball of water that's going to have micro particles embedded in it. And as a video is recording and he's turning the handle... To music. To music, exactly. The tempo at which he's turning the handle is going to increase, not too much. Much, okay. as he's listening to bark. So he's going to know exactly how fast to wow. turn the handle. And so the insight from uh, research like this is going to help us understand some of the fluid dynamics around uh, large bodies such as uh, uh, Saturn in our uh, wow. in our own solar system. So it's not just for fun. It's We're not just for things. fun. It's all very important. Uh, if there is a researcher who's watching now and says, I've got research that I want to get into low Earth orbit, how do they do that? They come talk to us. Go onto the website, uh, get in touch, uh, and we'd love to fly uh, uh, more research like this and uh, do more cool science in space. Such cool science. Thank you so much, Lucy, for making it just understandable for the general public.